Hello, I'm Dr. Kevin Polk, and I'm a psychologist who studies psychological flexibility and presents about it. And this is psychological flexibility for couples and families. You see a diagram on the screen in front of you. It's called the Matrix. Uh, nothing fancy about that name. It was just sexy, sexier than calling it the grid, which is what we used to call it. And we build this uh, with an individual or a couple or with a family. Uh, so they can look at things from the psychologically flexible point of view. And here's how you build it. First, you start with who is important to you. So we have over here who is important. And so you think about the people that are important to you. So I'll put all that in there with a question mark. So think about who is important to you. Then we come over here and ask the question, what shows up inside of you, like fear, that gets in the way of moving toward who's important to you? So uh, we'll put that in there. What gets in the way? And I have the example of fear. So fear can show up Another popular one I'll throw in is anger. Anger oftentimes shows up over here and gets in the way of moving toward who's important to you. Now, everything down here is mind stuff. It's going on inside of you. A lot of times we also put down here inside. So now we go up here to this part, uh, which is the outside, five senses. Of course, you're aware of the outside three or five senses. Uh, and it's also other people are aware, so they can see your behaviors, and so behaviors go up here. And these are away behaviors, like moving away from fear. So you might, you know, jump out of the way of the bus, or, or of a bus, uh, to get away from fear, and that would be an away move. Uh, and you can get away from something like anger. Sometimes people yell to get away from anger. All kinds of stuff. Uh, and those are away moves. We all do them. They're part of life. Uh, and then there's toward moves, and toward moves are the ones that you do toward the people who are, in who are important to you, like talk. We can talk to people, and uh, we can uh, uh, visit. Sometimes people say visit and go to dinner. Uh, we could kiss them. There we go. All kinds of behaviors that you do to move toward who's important to you. And so that's the basic or some of the basic elements of the psychological flexibility model. And then we add this circle. And it's called the noticing circle. And this is the part of you that can notice. It's been noticing stuff since you were born. Uh, and it continues noticing moment to moment, you know, each moment of your life. And that part of you can notice who and what's important to you. It can notice what shows up and gets in the way. It can notice the behaviors that you do to move away, and it can notice the behaviors you do to move toward. And, and it's, see, I've sort of put that up on little legs there, those arrows or legs, because this circle is up above these other components, and so you can look back on yourself, metaphorically, uh, and and say, well, you know, what, what do I do next? And we just introduce choice into it. And that choice is that flexibility. You now have the flexibility to choose your behaviors. So that's the basics of the psychological flexibility model for, for couples uh, and families. And so how would we work it with a family? Well, first, we need to have everybody do this for themselves because we all have who's important to us. What shows up down here is also what is important. So health and school and work and hobbies, that kind of stuff can show up. Uh, and we all have this. This is very important down here. And to some extent, for the couple, this needs to be lined up. You need to have some shared uh, important to you stuff, uh, both in terms of who's important to you and what's important to you. Doesn't mean you have to have everything in common, but it's probably a really good idea to have some in common and to verify that and, and make sure this is lined up. Uh, also, so that the couple is aware of what's showing up inside of each of them and getting in the way of doing these, these toward moves. 
And of course, getting in the way, we're talking about away moves. And so we can honestly talk about what we do, you know, when I sleep in, I'm avoiding, or when I'm yelling, I'm trying to get away from this stuff. Start having a look at this as a couple. And of course, we can talk about toward moves that we're going to do together. Uh, to move toward who and what's important to us. So now you switch the conversation from individuals to, in essence, a joint matrix. Uh, this is Remember, this is called the matrix, and I'll call it the matrix. So you do that. And with a family, well, you do the same thing. You have each family member fill out one of these, who's important to them, what's important to them, what shows up and gets in the way, what kind of behaviors do they usually do to move away, what kind of behaviors could they be doing to move toward. Notice all that stuff and bring it into the family and try and line this up. This is the stuff that needs to be lined up. This is some of the stuff that you can do together. Don't have to do all of it together, but you can do some of it. Remember, do is behaviors. Do together. And you can be aware of how we all do things to move away from this uncomfortable stuff. And we all do it. And we need to be accepting uh, of uh, some of these away moves that we all do. And it's just part of life. But the idea is to watch the couple, watch the family, and make sure that the, the away loops aren't getting in the way. And what do I mean by that? Fear, anger, stuff like that are naturally occurring. So let's say you, you yelled to uh, get away from fear. I um, yelled to get away from fear. Pretty good. Uh, jump to get away from fear. Well, fear will come back, and so boom, it comes back. Maybe you start jumping from imaginary fear. Well, it can start looking like that, and you can get stuck in these away loops. And the problem with away loops is that you're not doing enough of this stuff over here. A little bit's okay, a whole lot's not so okay. And so we're looking at if there's trouble, as I said, this is for trouble couples and uh, families, and maybe there's too much of this away looping going on in one or more people, and need to give up on that, accept that this is just part of stuff, and you accept, well, fear is part of the deal, and I'll just take it with me to move that way. Uh, by the way, this is all based on something called acceptance and commitment training, and that's basically what that was. Accepting that fear is part of life, and oh, heck, I'll just take it with me uh, and go visit somebody or talk or whatever and do it. So that's what you can do with a matrix diagram with couples and families. I have a transcript of this available for download for a small fee. Uh, the fee helps me pay for the videos and the equipment and stuff for, for doing this stuff. So uh, until next time, bye-bye.